to our channel and today we're just going to show you uh, a quick way of checking your brakes on your trailer. So I got my wife in the truck and right now we have the brakes at uh, 4.5 and uh, we're using these uh, phones to communicate. She's inside my truck right now. I'm, I'm going to be over here. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be spinning the wheel and she's going to be hitting the brake at 4.5. Ready? Hello? I need to turn on the truck. Turn the truck on. So she's got the truck on right now. The truck is running. Okay. And uh, 4.5? Yes. Foot brake. Okay. No, the trailer. Okay, stop. At 5.5. That one's good. That one's good. This one, there's something wrong with it. So I'm going to check the wiring going into the brake system. It's not supposed to be doing that. Okay. Now I'm going to have her max out the brakes to uh, 10 point. Okay, bring it up to 10 point. Okay. Okay, you gonna let go? Let go. Okay, go ahead, push them. Those two locked up really good. There's something wrong with my brake right here. So I'm gonna check the wiring. Let go. What you ready? Yes. Okay. Oh wow. You guys are not going to believe this. I got a wire disconnected. So this is why it is very important to pre-trip your uh, trailer. Well, your truck too. Truck and trailer. And this is why when I do a pre-trip, I check every wire connected to my brake. I didn't see this one because it was under the leaf spring. Because when you're looking at it from, from that point of view... You're not gonna see this, but it's it's good. It's good. It's it's a good idea to check your brakes. And I noticed that uh, the other day when I had a full load, I wasn't getting my brakes like I'm supposed to. So this is the problem right here. This wire right here has been disconnected. So I'm gonna fix that. And uh, stay tuned. You, got, you gotta spin them, and she's gotta put the brakes on over there. This one is a dead tire. Dead brake? Right here, you can buy them at Amazon. This is a, a wiring kit. It's for vehicles, marine home, outdoor projects. So, probably going to use two of these. I need some wire cutters. I'm not sure where the wire is, uh, where the wire was connected. So I'm thinking it was probably connected in, in here. I'm hoping it was in here. So I'm gonna do a quick connect, but, but I'm gonna replace Place those with the new ones. So I'm gonna have her get in the truck and uh, we're gonna check the brakes. Hey, just uh, put the brakes on. What number? Same thing. So I was hoping that little wire went to one of these little clips, but it turns out it's the wiring that goes inside my axle. So I'm gonna have to. Um, Try to pull it somehow without breaking the uh, the end. So I don't know if you can see this or not right here. That was connected there. 
you know what I might be I might be able just to pull it it's probably coming from that side or this side so stay tuned okay so I was able to trace the wire uh, the broken wire that we're trying to track down where it goes this was connected here it goes inside the tube here my axle so I had to cut all these zip ties so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna push this push it into the little hole right there that way I get more more wire coming out of here so I'm gonna fix this right now check them again okay we're gonna check them for the last time and uh, and then we're gonna check the other side over there okay mark tell her let go We're gonna check them from outside. Okay, so we're gonna check them for our, our last time. We're checking the brakes. Go ahead, Mark. Okay, perfect. Okay. This one looks like it needs a little bit of grease, so we're gonna put we're gonna put uh, grease that up right now. Oh. See, whenever that little wire right there is not connected, it might affect the other side. I don't know what the brake diagram is, but uh, it looks like these two were working. That one wasn't working, and we're going to find out if the other side is working properly. We're going to grease the bearings right now. And why am I doing this today? Because when I, if you could hear that, sound like the bearings, maybe my bearings are going out so if I put a little bit of grease I'm hoping it's not the bearings otherwise I gotta buy some new bearings those were also running hot last week so I did two pumps on it it seems like it's working a little better. <laughs> I don't want to over grease it. So I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna order a new set of uh, bearings, six of them for the future. Because when I bought this trailer, I bought it used. So I don't know how many miles they put in the on, on the trailer. But when I first bought it, it looks like like they took care of it. Although I did have to replace all the brakes. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, the other side. Okay. 